Hello everybody, Grace still plays, and we're back with more Beam MG Drive. No time for BS. So we are back at the Extreme Jump Arena for a reason. Sometimes you just want to watch the world burn, and today is one of those days. Damn it! We're gonna do some crashes. I've got some ballards down here that are like about a third of the way up, right at the end over here, right at the end of the jump, and it creates some pretty cool crashes, especially when you get some really beefy vehicles speeding on down this giant ass ramp. So if you've never seen this map, this this map is just a ramp. It is a it is just a gigantic ramp. Um, well, here let me go ahead into free view here, and we'll kind of wander around it. So moving down this area, as we can see, it stems from a gigantic, I don't know, downward, <laughs> downhill slalom. It's not a slalom at all. But anyway, it goes down a giant ramp, and then you can jump and see how far you can go. And there's all these different little signs here that show you the distance. And then in the end, you're kind of funneled down this pathway into a pool if you're on fire, so you don't have to burn alive, along with some stadium seating and some lights. Because this is what people like to see these days. They like to see their drivers caterwirling through the air while their vehicle burns them alive until they come to a wreckage stop somewhere in this funnel of doom and sadness. So let's go ahead and just start with the very first vehicle that you spawn in with. Oh, look, there's a jet overhead. Well, isn't that nice? Let's just start with the very first vehicle that we get when we spawn in, and then we'll kind of progressively go from there. We can also mess with the ballards and move them up and down just to see if that kind of makes the wreckage any better. And we're, we're going to want to try that, because if we get lower vehicles, we're going to want to move them down a little bit. If we get taller vehicles, we're going to want to move them up. So let's just try it with the old truck first thing off. Ah, yes, the old white truck, the staple of every single Beam NG spawning point. Let's go. So you don't want to get too much speed right off the bat when you're going, because you'll end up, like, missing a lot of the pavement, and you'll lose a lot of your speed. But here we go, baby. This is it. We should almost get to, like, 150 before we hit these things. So right about here is the moment where our driver knew he had fucked up. And, man, <laughs> look at the impact. The vehicle just turns to mush the very second it hits the Ballard. It still has some forward momentum, though, to keep on going off the jump. I do appreciate that as well. The engine compartment is completely obliterated. The engine's probably in our driver's lap right now. It did not get past the ramp. If you can squeeze through two of the ballards, you can get past the ramp and get pretty far. We can give that a shot. Also, if you're one of those folks that found this particular video and you don't want to hear old Gray talk about the commentary of the driver and how, I don't know, his wiener is probably stuck somewhere inside of the ashtray at this point, then feel free to turn on your... Your favorite, I don't know, dubstep or EDM or whatever people listen to while they're watching crashes on BeamMG and do it that way. All right, next go. I think we're going to keep the UI off. We really don't need it for this. And uh, really, the cinematic view is just so much better than having that UI on. Let's go ahead and move around here. Okay, looking good. We're going to want to stop, slow down, and get ready. Now, if I can aim up a little bit over this way, that should just about do it. Probably just tear off the left-hand side. All right, or maybe it'll, maybe I'll hit it dead on. Man, there goes the exhaust. There goes the exhaust. Clean off the vehicle. And this is like, um, I think 16 times slower. So now we're about four. And yeah, that is a pile of twisted metal. All right, hold on. We need to at least get it one time where we can scrape through the ballards. All right, I'm feeling real good about this one. Real good. Oh, yeah. Well, I felt good, but I think we're going to hit two ballards this time. All right. Let's get right in line here. Oh, just one. Right on the gray still place uh, license plate there as well. Wow. I... I think we're gonna get a dead stop here. It's not even gonna make it off, maybe? Let's take a look. Yes! Dead stop on the Ballard. Wow! Oh, man. That is sweet. Oh, it's off the ground. This is interesting. It's kind of levitating a little bit. Ballards work. Ballards do work. Let's get a bigger vehicle and see if we can mess it up any better than the white truck. I wanted something bigger and beefier. This medical car should do the trick. I don't know how low it sits to the ground. Well, it's not... And it's pretty high, but I think the ballard should still work. Yep, right about here for the speed. There we go, keeping it on the roadway. Now, it looks like I have a little bit more spacing on this side. 
So let's see what happens if we come in on the left side right about here. Look at this ballard right here. Giving us the middle finger. It decided to stick up a bit further than the other ballards. I have no idea why either. Oh, wow. This is going to be just... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Hold on. Let me switch on over to the vehicle. We might reach the 100 mark. Might reach the 100 mark after that thwack. Oh, yeah. And I love these ballards, man. This... The kind of damage these things do are just absolutely fantastic. Okay. And yes, we made it. We made it past the 100. I think we're going to make it all the way down to the bottom. Will there be anything left of the vehicle? It is now on fire because just... Just kind of having been the way it was wasn't good enough. Ooh, it may land on its wheels. Yes! So, 10 points right there to the medical vehicle. It managed to get past the... Well, get past... Yeah, I guess we'll call it got, get past... It got past the ballard, landed on its wheel. It is on fire. Everyone inside, the occupants are toast. Uh, there's a piece over there that crossed the uh, the threshold. There goes another piece. Look at it go flying past the... Just pieces of the car kind of raining down here. Let's give it one more shot. All right, ballard, you got a little bit too uppity. Why don't you get on... Why don't you head on down there? Simmer down, ballard. Simmer down. There you go. I'm going to tell you something. It's not too often I managed... Oh, man, are we going to squeeze through? Hold on here. Let's see. Oh, sheared the vehicle. All right. Look at the dust kick up from the Ballards. That is really cool. Took one of the wheels clean off. It's like the rear left tire there. We are doing a fantastic nosedive right past the 100 meter sign. This is, this is, this is very promising, guys. Very promising. Let's go ahead and fast forward things a little bit here. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're gonna do just fine. We may even make it down into the pool. This is a 180, uh, maybe let's call this two, 200, 220. Okay, now we're into a roll. Now we're into the death roll. Oh, the wheels still work. Look at that, the right wheel's still like, fuck you, Gray, I'm still, I, freedom, freedom. You won't put me into the ballard again. The other wheel just went into the, this could be your ad sign. The, uh, the wheels have definitely gone the farthest of any piece of the vehicle here. They are rolling like champs, man. Off into the crowd, just about. And the vehicle... I don't know. I don't think we're going to make it to the pool. Nope, didn't make it to the pool. The wheels sure did, though, in the background. I like the medical car, but I think we need to go bigger so the taco mobile is stepping up to the plate. I don't know if the taco is going to get caught on the lighting. This should be interesting. Let's find out. Uh, no. Taco seemed to make it through. Let's see if we can get past the, uh... The... The, the, oh, okay, we did. I wasn't sure if we could get past that. Whoa! <laughs> the suspension on uh, on El Taco here is a hell of a thing. Oh, boy, keeping this thing straight is a pain in the ass. Oh, we're going to end up rolling before we even hit him. In retrospect, I think things turned out really well. Oh, we're going to hit it sideways. This may be an awesome roll. Yes! There goes the taco. Taco away! As well as a door. Oh, wow. Stopped dead in its tracks. I think it hit all three, too. That is a three for right there. All three ballards. Yes. <laughs> and the flame. It's like a plume of flames. It's like a its like an, a bomb went off on this thing. And now it's just spazzing out like the tacos were full of uh, methamphetamine or something. Uh, maybe we're going to lower these a little bit. Okay, over to the ballards. Let's, go, let's bring these down just, just a hair. Right to about that level. I think that should be good for this van. I think the van sits a little bit lower than everything else, or at least when it was going on its side, it sat lower than everything else. So right about here should do it. Let's go ahead and zoom out just a wee bit. Okay, good. Now, it's just a matter of me being able to stay on the roadway. All right, looking good, looking good. Although, you know what? Going sideways was pretty cool. Maybe we should do that on purpose. Um, you know what? What the hell? Let's try it. Hold on. All right, second time's the charm, boys. Second time for the charm. Look at how delectable that taco looks. All right, we're going to kind of go this way. And then at the last minute, we're going to swing that back end around. Here we go. I'm not sure exactly whereabouts we're going to hit here. Oh, yeah, we got it. We got it. Oh, just caught the tire. Man, that was... I don't know, man. That was really, really uh, not what I had expected. I mean, it's going to hit pretty good. Yep, there we go little bit of a tumble, but the Ballards didn't cause this. I mean, it took one of the tires out, but that was pretty much it. Um, all right, we'll go ahead and put it at full speed here. Wow, this thing is a rolling champion. 
still in pretty good condition too. I mean, yeah, you know, the, the top end's a little jacked up and uh, it's missing a couple of tires. Well, just one tire and now it's missing the door and the hood. But other than that, I mean, it doesn't look that bad at all. Hold on here, can we, uh, yep, tires still spin. This may be a pretty hard hit. Here we go. It, uh, you know what? Other than pushing, like, a little bit of a piece of the front of the car toward the middle here, didn't really do that bad. Man, that taco does not like to stay on this thing. All right, hold on. We'll, we'll move the Ballards up just a little bit. Oh, we almost kissed the 100 sign. That would have been awesome. Oh, how about the 200? Nah, we're too low. Too low. Can't get it. Maybe we'll move the Ballards up just a little bit, and then we'll try from there. All right, this is the big one. I can feel it in my bones. You know it. The, the, the earthquake is coming, baby. Here it comes. Big Brother Thunder lumbering down the, lumbering down the plank. And just in time for the, here we go. We're locked on target, we're upside down. This should be interesting. Not really sure what's going to happen here. Uh, <laughs> okay, wow. That was a pretty cool impact on the uh, left, uh, the left rear right there. Look at that, it almost tore the back end completely off. The taco, well the taco always goes flying. I love seeing the aerial taco. It's always quite comical. I wonder, wonder what our taco distance is this time. This should be an Olympic sport. It's like taco tossing. Ooh, is it gonna hit the sign? Taco, taco, and yes, flattened by the sign. Stop, the goaltender was on point. Our vehicle is still really getting some decent nose, ass over nose or whatever you wanna call it. The door over there is moving pretty good too. Let's see if we move it back into the full speed. I think we're gonna get back on our tires. Man, what a tough bastard. And it still runs. Look at this, it still kind of drives. Yes, we're gonna drive all the way to the end. Hold on, I can't turn, but I can still drive. This thing's a beast. The Taco Mobile can't get stopped. This is the indestructible vehicle. I had thought that there was another indestructible vehicle, but the real one is the Taco Mobile. All right, I think we're just about done with the Taco Mobile. Let's try something even bigger. First things first, let's go ahead and pick these up a little bit. We're gonna have a real piece of beef coming through here in just a moment. There we go. All right, right about there, I think. You guys knew it was time. We gotta bring a tank, we gotta bring a freaking 18-wheeler down here with the Beam NG container on the back, the old cargo container. Luckily, that's not gonna stop us, the old cross beam there. Okay, oh wow. This thing is, this thing is gonna do well. I can feel it. Oh, the container's already flopping all around. Here we go. What do you guys think? You think they're high enough? Let's find out, here we go. Yes! Oh, took the bottom frame clear off! Yes! Oh, the camera's not even following the cab. The camera wants to follow the wheels. Wow! That, that is a good one. Uh, wow, I can't even, uh, I might have to free cam this one because there's just so much going on. Look at the craziness that's happening with the frame over there. There's so much going on that in order to follow it all, yeah, I'm gonna have to free cam this. That is epic though. Okay, we need to do a couple more of these real quick. What do you boys think? You think it'll make it? That is pretty spot on. Yes! Oh, it stopped. It's gonna get stopped right at the Ballard. Wow. Even the tank, even the 18-wheeler the couldn't make it past. What is that that flew out? I can see a few of the fuel a few of the fuel uh, tanks on the sides there, a couple of wheels as well. Wow, the container just does not care. It does not want to stick around for this over here. Oh boy. Oh, is it gonna make it off? I don't know. It, uh, it's trying, it's trying. Is it still, <laughs> do you hear that? How is this working? How are the wheels still functioning? That's crazy. I don't even, it, <laughs> Oh, the engine's still connected. It's all that's left. The engine and some of the frame and some of the exhaust. All right, boys, what's better than one 18-wheeler hitting Ballard's? It's two 18-wheelers hitting them. I don't know if this is gonna work. Um, I tried to make this work, we'll see. Let's go ahead and head down here. It should, for the most part, go straight down this thing. If it starts flipping all over the place, well, what can you do? The aim looks true. At the very least, it'll hit one of these ballers. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. 
Oh, wow. Hold on. Let's go ahead and uh, slow things down to right about here. Now, the first one, that is a hell of an impact. It did not stop it. Never mind. It took the entire rear frame off. That is quite interesting. There goes part of the vehicle. Just soaring onward. It's buddy's catching up right here, though. It's got two things to get through. Yes! Oh, wow. It made the Ballard shuttle or shutter as well. Look at the pieces. Look at how it just fell into pieces. That's fantastic. Oh, they are just soaring. We've got the pieces really going now. Let's go move things into full speed. Fires have started. Everything's kind of sliding down the ramp here. Let's see where everything stops. Right over here into the water. Can we get there? Can we get there? I don't know, man. I don't think so. I think, whoa. Okay, maybe this wreckage will get there. Nope, coming up short. What can you do? They gave it a real valiant effort though. And to finish things off, we've got the Ballards fully extended just to see what sort of carnage we can get from this. Looking good. Looks like it may squeak almost past one of them. That is a near full stop. Uh, the cab has gone into the stratosphere. His little buddy there is way behind though, way behind. Let's go ahead and let him uh, catch up a little bit right before a similar fate is met. Oh, the, oh yes, hold on, the container just got stopped. Rest of the vehicle kept going, well, some of the vehicle kept going. There's the cab. The cabs really want to see if they can make their way down the hill, down the, the, the challenge course here. Try to get that maximum distance. There's some pieces over here of the, I think this is the, is this the first or the second vehicle's frame? I feel like this is the first vehicle's frame. Everything else, slowly following after it. A little bit of a fuel area right there. Bit of a fire, all prepared. Looking pretty good. And I think we're gonna end with this. A lovely twisted wreckage of both of the frames caught together on fire overlooking the mountainous, the mountainous visage of the uh, extreme jump course here, the extreme jump arena. Guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Beam NG. Sometimes I just have to make stuff crash. If you have any suggestions for crashes or anything you'd like to see happen in Beam NG, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. Guys, until the next time, stay foxy and much love.